Good morning, friends. Today we are going to be practicing telling time to the five minute mark. Before we practice, let's go ahead and review our song that we were learning this week. Remember, this one goes to the tune of the Hokey Pokey. The shorthand tells the hour time. The shorthand shows the hour time. You look at the number that the shorthand has passed that tells you the hour time. Shorthand. The long hand tells the minute time. The long hand tells the minute time. You start at the 12 and you count by fives. That tells you the minute time. Long hand. Good job with your song. Let's go ahead and take a look at a clock today and we are going to practice telling time to the five minute mark. Let me just adjust this. There we go. All right. So the first hand that we want to look for is the shorthand. Remember, the shorthand tells the hour time. So if you look at my clock here, this one is my shorthand. Now, my shorthand has gone past the one, but it has not made it to the two yet. So that means that our hour is still one. So I'm going to write one right here. And then we need to put our two dots. Remember the two dots separate the hours from the minutes. Now to find our minutes, we need to start at the 12 and we're going to count around the clock by fives. So start at 12 and let's count. This is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 because our minute hand was stopping at the 10. So our time for this clock would be 150. So biggest things for you to remember, start with your hour hand. You might need to look and see what, uh, what number the hour hand is past, like this one. It was past the one, but it had not made it to the two yet. After you figure out the hour, you're going to find your minutes. When we're finding minutes, you wanna start at the 12 and count around the clock by fives. All right, good luck today with finding time to the nearest five minute mark.